Okay, I went ahead and I put the bottom hem in, so we're all set there. Now it's time to figure our tapes and mark our shade for the tapes. This is where it's going to take a little calculation. The shade itself is going to be 30 inches long. The tape is what's going to control the size of it, just like this. This is what, what it hangs down, is what's going to control the size, the length of the shape. So in this case, I've got my tape up from the bottom hem. I don't have it right down to this hemline. And the reason why I don't have it down to this hemline is because you don't want your fold to go over the hemline. You want it at least even to the hemline, like so, or a little bit of reveal of the hem, depending on how, you, how you'd like it to look. With that being said, we are going to figure out our tapes. If we bring the tape up 5 inches, then a 30 inch shade, length and shade, you want the tape to be 25 inches, and then by the time the, the, uh, from here down here is 5 inches, you gain it. That's your extra, so it's 30 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mark this tape off at 25 inches. The first thing you're going to want to do is, if I bring this shade down, I've bent the tape about an inch underneath the shade. So you're going to go ahead and put a mark one inch up on the tape like that. And that is where you're going to start. Then from there, you're going to go every five inches. Now, you, this is a twill tape, and it's a three-quarter inch twill tape, and you can find this on eBay anytime. Um, it's like, for 10 yards, it's like uh, $2. Cost you more for shipping, actually. Okay, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mark this. That's five inches. 10, 15, 20, and then 25. Okay, then I'm going to cut this approximately an inch and a half over on the top. One inch on the bottom, inch and a half, it doesn't really matter, anything like that. And you're going to go ahead, and on this shade, I figured we need four just like this. I'm just going to double check. 25 inches. Okay. And I already had, had made the other cuts just to speed up the film a little bit. At least I thought I had five of them, four of them. Yeah, I got three. Okay, so I got a couple of them. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, so there's my four tapes. Um, to recap it again, it was 30 inches. I was going to you don't cut the tape 30 inches, even though it's a 30 inch long shade. You have to deduct whatever this bottom hem, wherever you're going to start it. Um, in my case, I'm starting at 5 inches up. So I'm starting at 5 inches, I deduct that from my tapes, which so is now 25 inches. 25 inches and starting 5 inches up is 30 inches. Now, we have to figure out what our spacing across is. So now you're going to measure in between the side hems. So from the edge of this side hem to the edge of this side hem is 22 inches. I'm using four tapes. And the idea is that you don't want any more than 10 inches between these tapes because there's not enough support and this will start bowing. So keep that in mind. Uh, so three tapes on a 24 inch shade would would be 12 inches. You'd have a, just one here, so that's not enough support. So therefore, we're adding four tapes. With four tapes, four tapes, you have three spaces. So you take your 22 inches and you divide it by three. You're going to come out with approximately seven and three eighths. So what I'm going to do, just to make it a little easier, I'm going to go with seven and a quarter, and I'll show you what happens here. I'm going to come here, 
and I'm going to go seven and a quarter, 14 and a half. My last space is about seven and a half, and that's fine. Just keep in mind that you're going to always go from left to right. So you're going seven and a quarter, seven and a quarter, and approximately seven and a half. So you're not, so don't start from this side, seven and a quarter, because you'll get everything mixed up. So you want to make sure you're working left to right. And, and it doesn't matter whether these last strings is a quarter inch difference, that's fine. Going upward, um, also, going upward, we're starting our tape five inches above our hemline. So I'm going to put my first mark five inches. I marked off my tapes going up every five inches. If I mark my tape off every five inches, I have to mark my shade off every ten inches. So from here, I'm going to mark this off ten, twenty, thirty, forty, and then fifty. Okay, so I started five inches from the bottom, and I'm going 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, which leaves me about four inches left on the top, which is fine because that's what I need to mount it onto the board. Okay, hopefully you, you are understanding that right. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to fold this shade in half. You have two options. You can either mark it, go up here five inches, and then make all those marks. And I just find this a little bit more accurate, believe it or not, but it shouldn't matter, but it kind of is. If you fold the fabric in half, keeping your hems good, and then following your five inches, your first mark here, I'm just going to put a little mark on the edge. You don't have to do it this way. You can just mark it the same way as you mark this, but in this case, I'm following those marks. Now I have a mark on this side, and on this side is five inches up marked every 10 inches on this side, marked on 10 inches on this side. Now we've, we've, de we've determined that we're using seven and a quarter inches space here. So now I'm going to go ahead starting from here, just marking it seven and a quarter, 14 and a half. Seven and a quarter, fourteen and a half, and so on right up Now the last line you are not marking, you're going to draw a straight line straight across. Because this is where you are going to mount the shade to the edge of the board, which I will show you. Okay, so now we have it all marked. From here we've gone seven and a quarter inches across, and then we've gone ten inches up. And we've marked our tapes off every five inches. Now we're just going to double check to make sure we have the same amount of, uh, of marks. On here we have one, two, three, four, five, six marks on our tape. We have one, two, three, four, five, six marks on our shade. So we're perfect. Uh, our next video, um, in a second, we're going to show you how to put the rings on. I'll be back.